Welcome to Electron Online, and now let's talk about planet albedo. The albedo of the planets has to do with the amount of sunlight that's reflected back into space from the surface of the planet. And so the number represents the fraction of the incoming sunlight that actually reflected back into space. So here you have numbers between 0 and 1. So for each of the planets, the number represents the portion of the fraction of sunlight that the planet receives that's reflected back into space. So the lower the number, the more heat that is absorbed. The, the, the greater the number, the more the heat is then reflected, the more the sunlight is reflected. And what you see right away is that two of the eight planets have a relatively low, num low number, that is Mercury and Mars. So what do they have in common relative to the other six planets? Well, the difference is that Mercury has no atmosphere and Mars has a very small atmosphere. And because of that, the light gets all the way down to the surface. The surface is made out of rock. And because of that, the heat tends to get absorbed. The sunlight tends to get absorbed and not being re-reflected. So that's why those have low albedos. Also, the coloration of the surface is relatively dark. It's a little bit darker for Mercury, a little bit grayer. For Mars, it's a little redder. So you can see that Mars absorbs a little bit, more, uh, a little bit less, reflects a little bit more. Mercury absorbs a little bit more than Mars. Notice Venus and Earth. Now, Venus has a much greater albedo. Matter of fact, if you look at all the numbers, Venus has the greatest albedo of all the planets in the solar system. Well, the atmosphere of Venus is enormously dense. It's 90 times the the atmosphere density on the Earth, and therefore Venus reflects the majority. 59% of all the light that is incoming on Venus gets reflected back out into space. If you look at a, a, a picture of Venus, you can see that there's nothing about the surface that you can recognize because the cloud cover is so thick, the atmosphere is so thick and so dense that we can simply not see through the atmosphere, through the clouds, and see the surface. So all the light, well, I shouldn't say all the light, but a, a great percentage of light is simply reflected back into space. Earth is a mixed bag. Earth has oceans, it has land, and then it has a lot of cloud cover. But it's not completely covered over, and the atmosphere is not that thick, and so therefore only about a third of the light coming in from the sun gets reflected back into space. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune all have very high albedos. Notice, though, that the albedo is greater for Uranus and Neptune than it is for Jupiter and Saturn. But nevertheless, they all have large albedos because they have thick atmospheres, and so there's a lot of reflection of these, of these cloud tops and of the atmosphere sending the light back into space. Of course, it has to do with the consistency of the atmosphere. And when we start talking about the individual planets, we'll talk a little bit more about why exactly the albedo is the number that it is when we get down into the actual molecular structure and the makeup of the various atmospheres of the planets. But now you get a nice little overview of how the differences are really determined by the makeup of the atmosphere and the makeup of the cloud cover in the atmosphere. And you can see that based upon that, how the albedos line up for the planets in our solar system. And that's how we do that.